You know, my Google Chrome has gotten slow recently, a little bloated, and I would love to find an alternative, but those extensions kind of addictive. I can't get away from my Google Chrome extensions. Well, I found a replacement where you don't have to lose anything, and it's really fast, and it's got some great security features, so I'm going to show you that in this video. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. It's been a while since I've done one. I want to talk to you about a new browser. You know, it's weird to talk about browsers these days. If you're anything like me, you've been stuck on Chrome for a long time, and and, and Chrome's been getting a little bloated. It's been getting a little slow. Um, just not as happy with it as I used to. So a couple things triggered me to take a look at Opera. One, they came out a new version, had a big press release. So I wanted to explore it and take a look at it. And I found some really cool things I wanted to tell you that you might be interested in. Number one. Well, one is just really super nice. Um, so go to opera.com, download it, install it. You know, I think you're going to like it. I'm going to show you how to set it up to really uh, be able to replace Chrome on your computer. And that's 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 really what I'm excited about. Uh, so for the replacement part, this is what you can do. If I go into my menu here, they have extensions in Opera just like they do in Chrome. And if you search for Chrome, you'll actually find a download Chrome extension. What this will allow you to do is any of the extensions that you use in Chrome, you can now install in Opera. So let's go ahead and add this to Opera. And you'll see that now I've got that installed. So now if I go and let's make sure that's turned on. Let's view my extensions. And okay, that is turned on. So now let's go out to our Chrome web store. So chrome.google web store. And this will be where you can download all of your uh, Google Chrome extensions. I've been doing a lot of these. I haven't found one that didn't work yet in Opera, which I'm really excited about. I use Grammarly. I've talked about that in the past. It helps me a lot, you know, not to sound too too ignorant in my emails by having grammatical mistakes. So look at this. Now, right here within the Chrome store, I've got this add to Opera button here versus add to Chrome. <laughs> awesome. So let's go ahead and click that. And you'll see that it's disabled initially. I'm gonna go ahead and install. Takes me right there to extensions. Let's install that. And you'll see you'll have the same options. And boom, you'll see right here, just like in Chrome, I've got that. And I can go ahead now and log in and do the things that I would normally do to activate. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I've got that saved. Now you'll see I've got my Grammarly account set up here right in Opera. And you can literally do that with any of the extensions here in the store. So that's number one. You don't have to lose your extensions now to leave Chrome, which is just super cool. And of course, all your typical stuff, you can import your bookmarks and things like that from Chrome and do all those sorts of things. So that's really cool. But now this was the thing that really just took me over the edge in terms of moving to opera um one has gotten pretty stable so just so you know i'm on version 44 now i've been using this actually for a couple versions and when i first started using it not every website worked well with it and now it's matured to the point where literally i don't have any websites anymore that don't work well in opera so i'm really excited about that so it is pretty mature now i would say second thing you can synchronize across so you can put this on your iphone what's nice is this feature i'm about to tell you about works on the iphone as well but you've got your synchronization just like chrome so you don't lose anything you can get to all your bookmarks and all your open tabs and things like that on your other devices which is really nice but this is the thing that sealed it for me if you go into preferences now if you're familiar with um some of the news recently they've talked about how uh we've lost some internet privacy because the your your isp your telecom whoever you pay to get on the internet with they now have access to sell all of your traffic and search terms and and, and they're collecting all that information they can make money on it so it was a big thing in the media um you know a couple of weeks ago uh, you know, Facebook and Google and Twitter and all those guys could always sell your stuff, but that's because you were searching in Google or searching in Facebook. Well, now, like Verizon or AT&T, whoever you use, they can collect all that information you're doing and sell it. One of the ways that you can, you know, give yourself a little bit more privacy is use a a VPN on your computer. And, you know, I've, I've 
gone out and purchased um, VPN services before. I've never really quite been happy with them. They, they've, they've never been easy to use, per se, easy as I would like. Well, Opera is the first browser that I've seen. Um, I would say major browsers, a couple other ones, smaller ones out there that have VPN turned on by default. Check this. I mean, not by default, but enabled for free in their browser. So I'm going to go into preferences under privacy and security. Take a look at this VPN here. Enable VPN. So it tells you a little bit where it's going to, it's going to route your traffic through Canada, basically, which I'm okay with. Uh, that might mess you up some stuff if you have it turned on. But look, I, I turned that on, and right now up here in my browser, I got VPN. It's telling me that my VPN is active. So I'm going to go out to Google here. Let's go out to Google.com. And let's put in what is my IP. It'll actually tell me. Okay, you'll see here my public IP address here. I'm going to actually go out on uh, my Safari browser, which is um, not vpn so this will be going through, in this case, Verizon Fios. You'll see I've got a completely different IP address. So all my traffic is now being tunneled through Opera's VPN, which is really nice just for, the, for an extra touch of security. It's not, I mean, you don't do anything crazy because I'm sure you could be tracked. But, you know, if you just want to say, hey, Mr. ISP, you can't track everything I'm doing. This is a nice way to do it. But more importantly, you got all your Chrome stuff that you can bring in. So if you're looking for a new browser, if you're tired of Chrome, or God forbid you're still using Internet Explorer or something like that, give Opera a try. I mean, I will say it, it, it's working very nice and it's very fast. And just as another tip here, if you go into preferences, uh, the other really cool thing, you'll see block ads. They've got an ad blocker built right in as well. And it tells you right here, you can surf the web up to three times faster. So that might be one of the reasons as well that I'm able to uh, feel like this is so much faster uh, than than Chrome, which has really gotten bloated. So hopefully you enjoy this tip. Um, if you like what you see here, check us out at www.techsmartboss.com. We've got lots of podcasts and, and other texts to help you with, with your business. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy this and stay tuned for more.